Good morning, guys. Looks like those people down there circle the wagons. It's kind of a cool way to do it. I saw them move the fire pit, which was down by the road. They moved it to the back, I guess, so they could. It's a pretty good way to do it. There's our screen pad. Pete's got it all set up with the chairs and the grill and the table and the light hanging from the top. He said he just checked my squash. So that's doing well. Yesterday there were two fifth wheels with three vehicles, big vehicles, and a boat on a trailer. And people all across there and dogs and picnic tables loaded. So this morning I get up and um, they're all out there, you know, walking the dogs and eating over the fire and all that stuff. Um, I looked away because while I was having my coffee, I was playing a game on my phone. I looked away, I looked up and it was gone. It just like evaporated this whole big scene with all these people <laughs> just evaporated. Boom, gone. And so is the um, Airstream it's parked over there. He left very soon after, so I got up and the whole place was packed across there, and now it's empty in a matter of minutes. And here comes Petey and Chewie. I missed you. I missed you. Oh, geez, I missed your dad. You were gone for so long. Yep, he was gone for like five, not even five minutes, probably outside. And he watched me every second of the time. Yep. There goes Dad again. Yeah, ever since some of you who've been with me for a while remember we had our Suburban, our black, big Pete had his Suburban and I had this car. We decided to have one car because we're always together and it's not like we both work or whatever. So we decided to, so Casey's boyfriend Bill bought a Suburban and um, then we have this car. This car is great for short trips and things, but it is the most uncomfortable car I've ever driven or ridden in for several reasons. But neither of us, it's a nice car. It's got lots of great features, but it's not comfortable to ride in. We both come out with back aches and it does have lumbar support in the, in the um, you know, seats. But anyway, we both miss having a Suburban. So... Pete has been looking at Suburbans and talking to people and lining up Suburbans for us to go look at for today. So we're going up north, which is funny to say because we are up north, but we're going even further up north near Petoskey to start with the most the Suburban that uh, he's most interested in. But that's our plans for today. Chewie will come. Chewie come with us. Why, Chewie? Why? I told Pete, I said, what are the chances that we could just, this would be the one, the first one, and we could just be done with it? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Pray about it. God will let us know. He will speak to us about it, if that's the one we're meant to get. As he always does with the houses, with the RV, with everything. We never know the reasons. Or if I want to irritate my sister, who's big on grammar. We never know the reasons why, <laughs> but she doesn't watch my vlog. So. Anyway, um, that'll be a nice place for me to work. I told Pete I could take a couple bird cages out there with me and work outside and have the birds out there for fresh air and whatnot. And he's just going to wait for Dad, so I'm going to go get... I wasn't going to go over and take a shower this morning because there's so many people here, and there's only three showers, but looks like it's pretty not crowded so all right i'm gonna go i'll see you later bye typical northern michigan traffic on a weekend you see all kinds of boats campers and whatnot the um thing is in michigan you're never more than seven miles from a body of water anywhere in the state a river or a stream or a lake or whatever never more than seven miles away and that boat is closer than it appears we take it up a notch that's more like it but outdoor activities on the weekend in Michigan I suppose it's the same in any touristy era area of any state it's this sweater with this tank under it and I love these earrings but this is the only thing I've got that I can wear them with because this has all different shades of pink
beaches and oranges and things to red, so. So that's my outfit of the day. Oh, I'm wearing uh, denim capris, dark denim capris for the sandals, black sandals. I figured we're going out, I might as well get dressed up. Like, kind of count it as a day. We will at some point have to eat during the day after all, right here. Yes, we will. So. I will see you guys later. Bye. Step for lunch. You can always tell when you're up north. We live up here and it never gets old. Oops. Yep. Try and show the decor without showing the people. You have to have your deer head. I love those lamps. Those are pretty. Anyway, I just got a burger. If you got a quesadilla, that'll be our lunch. Then we'll be back on our way further north. So we missed our exit, so now we're taking some back roads, which are pretty twisty and windy. And, but look at that beautiful scenery, the hills. And northwest, well, western Michigan is a pretty, pretty part of the state. But northwestern Michigan has not only the hills, the woods, and the uh, valleys, you know, and everything. But it's just got that up north feel with the clean air and everything. So, yeah, this is really pretty. And, and really, the camera's not doing it justice. Pete's looking at it. And there's two boys looking at the dog. Chewie's looking at the boys. There's Doug, the guy selling it. We already knew it had some rust on it. It's got dark tinted windows in the back. That's a good thing. It really doesn't look as long as his other one was. His other one was longer it had, I think. That's third row seats. Anyway, I'm supposed to be looking up the... Uh, He's going to get the VIN so we can do a Carfax on it. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. Oh, you can see me here. Bright sunshine. And chewy, of course. Um, yeah, we just ran a Carfax on it. And there don't seem to be any issues. And it sounds real good. Looks good. Not for no rust. Well, the rust... There's rust around the bumpers only, a little bit at the bottom, but I mean, it's an almost 13-year-old car, and it's Michigan. You know what's funny is that this car used to be owned by somebody in Prudenville, right next to Houghton Lake, Houghton Lake, the next town where Prudenville and Houghton Lake are the two towns on the south side of the lake. And now here we are, an hour away, more than an hour, from Houghton Lake. Oh, Chewie, are you okay? He slipped. And uh, I'm going to have to get in the driver's seat, I guess. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Well, we're home. Pete's got dinner on the... Some yellow zucchini and green zucchini, and some in that pan, some onions, and then there's some of my bread, the last couple pieces of the bread I made, and some what are those? Portobellas. Yeah, portobellas. And uh, then I have a pork steak over there, so he'll throw on after. And I'll probably have some onions. A little bit of onion, mostly it's the zucchini I go for because I love that stuff. So here we are in our screen tent right next to Pete's new Suburban. Just talked to the pastor. We're going to deliver the van to the church tomorrow so they can have that. They have been needing a car. That What what was wrong with that, Lero? What was wrong with it? What was right with it would be the easier. Last thing, he, well, last thing that Trish told me is... David said 
that it was beyond dangerous. To drive. To drive. No wonder he was so eager when I called him, because I know they needed a, need a car. Yeah. So we had it in the back of our mind that uh, if the opportunity presented itself for Pete to get a Suburban, well, it's going to be ours. I, see, the last time we had a Suburban, it was Pete's. Because I had my car, he had his car. Now we have one car. So I have to get used to the idea of not saying Pete Suburban. It probably will always be Pete Suburban, though. It's always. I know, but I'll probably always think of it as yours, just because it's habit. So anyway, taking the van over there tomorrow, so then they'll have a safe car. And then we have that monster right there. I noticed it, the bumpers are mostly the rust places. It's 12 or almost 13 years old, so you expect a little. But it's mostly the bumpers, which I would think you could get new ones from a junkyard. Probably. At some point, if you wanted to, whatever. It's your car. <laughs> no, it's our car. Anyway, yeah, it's got a little rust. It's a Michigan car after all, but we did get a car fax and found out it's never been in an accident, never been... Uh, total, never been, never had anything bad. It shows the maintenance history, all the oil changes, everything this thing's gone through. And um, the value of this particular car is about probably 40, 35 to 40% more than what Pete paid for it. So he did a good job in negotiating a great price on this. And um, yeah. Good tires. Shouldn't need tires this winter, before winter. And he's going to take it to the dealer and have them look at it, look it over and see if there's anything that needs to be done. But they've, they've had a lot done to it. So anyway, kind of cool. So now we have that. And I probably will not be driving as well. Oh, as soon as I got in, I got an instant headache from the cigarette smoke smell in there. Instantaneous headache. So, um, yeah, number one step is getting it detailed. And wouldn't you know, he talked to Kim, and Kim said she knows somebody who's just starting a detailing business right here in town. So another God thing, one right after another. So he's always faithful. So that's the first step is to get it stunk can get you know it's got a few carpet stains and whatever so get it all it's got real leather seats it, it's got a ton of I mean I can't believe all the buttons and bells and whistles it's got a ton of options tons of options DVD player, DVD player in the back and a stereo in the back for the kids and um, a moon roof that opens slides all the way open or just lifts up for a little air of well, course, if you want to moon. yeah, if you want to moon somebody. And then um, the stereo, it's got a bow stereo that is phenomenal, phenomenal. I can't even tell you how good that stereo is. God doesn't give us junk. God doesn't give us junk. Um, it's got, of course, a CD player in it. I can't, I can't even think of all of the millions of options it's got on it. I just, we don't even know what all those buttons are for yet. But it's got some electronic issues like the dash light type things. And Pete's going to have to get the air conditioning more. You know, they're going to have to, we'll get the air conditioning. But can do it because it was a, he got it for a great price. So, have the electri electricity, electricity electronic parts going. Yeah. Great tires. Yep, great tires. And big heavy duty step on things because that's kind of hard to get in and out of even though I'm 5'7". Used to be 5'8", but even though I'm 5'7", it's, it's a little tough to get in and out of. So, <clears throat> But that's got good strong iron or steel or something. Steps. Luggage rack. Yeah, it's a nice piece of truck. I want to just close it up for tonight. Um, 
and I will see you guys tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys all have a sensational Sunday. Hope you're having a great weekend. And don't forget to pray for your pastors. Try and meet your pastor's needs when you can. They have more needs than we realize, but they don't talk about them. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're good to go. So take care. God bless and good night.